Goes in board. Good ball. To Saad. He always wants to go. Chera. Broken up. Myers over the top to the speedster. Rowan gets on his bike. Has a ping from long, long range. Wow. What about that? Mother, this time from Geelong in the centre square, which created this goal opportunity. And both coaches will be happy that they're putting pressure on in the middle part of the ground. Because to the left of screen to catch up with the arc here of Cameron. So he's still standing on the mark. Very intriguing indeed. It hasn't put Cameron off, though. He's nailed the goal. It just shows the class. Good bloke like Cameron, 55 out. Beautiful kick off the boot. Great, tac the great tactics by Young as well, Hodgie. Stingle's got to go back. Sard confronts him. Ed Kerno. Good ball for his brother. Wants to wheel and go. Charlie Kerno. Brilliant. Well, it's just replicating what they were doing in the backyard. And he's such an instinctive player, Kerno. When he just rolls, backs his own skill, doesn't even look at the goal until he's just about to drop it onto his foot. And we just see this celebration here and just reminds him that... Already kicked one from long range. Jeremy Cameron. It's just superb. It's a superb kicking action. Coming back, coming back, it is there. BT, yep. now you'd be encouraged to keep going for it. Keep going, it's the ever-changing world of footy, Richo. Berry, thought about Neil, went the more direct route. Good long ball, that is a goal. No problems, two quick ones here for Brisbane. Just gave Petrarca too much space. 52 metres on target. Now it's all about the length. And there's no problems with that at all. So Melbourne get their second. Let's see what he can muster up. Right on the half-time siren, basically. The long left foot up. It's online. It's all about the distance. It is there. What a big goal from Bailey Fritch. Butters spills away, could be dangerous, pinging back the other way, crisp. Josh Dacos from 55. Your beauty, Pies fans, eight unanswered. Just to give that target up has been unlike Collingwood. They generally you know, swallow that, but the fact that Rosie drops, the, have a look at their four or five Collingwood players that are in and around the contest and then ready to burst forward from... Port Adelaide needs some momentum. He thumps it. He launches it. And the goal umpire barely moved. The kid's good. Nightmare for them right now. Yeah, and what you describe is absolutely a fact. There's probably two-thirds of Collingwood's energy are being spent to attack, maybe even three-quarters. They need to try and take some of that and force them to defend. Setting up to drive forward again off the boot of Adams. He plays on, sets sail for home. It's long. It's straight. And it is home. Handballed it to Darcy Cameron. Have a look for a big fella. The vision here, and then the ability just to pop that out in front of a midfielder who's in Taylor Adams, who's run out of centre bounce. The vision alone was amazing. The execution was better, and then uh, that's a great fit. So Collingwood, kicked 11 of 13 goals in the opening half, and Charlie Dixon. It's a big mountain to climb, but they've kicked three in a row. Averages two goals a game at the Adelaide Oval. Just the 12 disposals last week had his trouble with Lewis Young, but still had 10 contested possessions. And did some important things. He's got that one straight, and he's put it through. They continue on the Tigers at the start of the second. This is a huge kick for a young man. He's got some talent, and he's showing everyone. He's kicked his third. He's able to pick his target. That's as good a kick as you'll see from a young player. The ability to go back and steal himself. Get more reward for that. Yeah. Well, big pat on the back for North Melbourne's back line. They've really held up well here. Darcy over the back. 
Now able to get it through. Sheasel quickly. Sending it forward. Pierce there holding. Free kick North Melbourne. Advantage taken. Stevenson, nobody in front of him, so he just launches for distance and it skids all the way home. He's played on naturally anyway. No one's really stopped, so forget that it's a free kick. That's a roll on natural style. He's kicked two tonight. Taylor. He Ooh. thumps it hard and long. Has he got enough? <laughs> oh, we're seeing something unbelievably special in this young kid. I think we'll all just put this one in our notes when it comes to range and set shots. Moves it on. Liam Jones over the top. Thinks about Smith. Takes a step too many. Wanganin Miller. Certainly the Saints have got numbers. Here's Caminiti. Kicks long. Crowd will tell the story. Bingo! This time last year in round two, Buddy Franklin was being hoisted high. His 1,000th magical game. This year in round two, Buddy who Amati, Amati says thank you very much. And the Swans are on the board in the opening minute. Looking for who's running past. Gives it to Amon. Usually good foot skills. Made it life difficult for Meek. Spills the way of Haywood. Hamble missed the target. Pouncing on it is Heaney. Gives it off to Mills. Mills from centre half forward is online. And they're starting to pull away now, the Swannies. That was a loose ball, but uh, gets a handball out. Back to his uh, captain in Mills, who nails one. Five shots, six shots at goal. Six shots at goal. Started his career a long time ago as a kid for the Bo Morris Sharks. And here he is, banging them from outside 50. But he might be a little nervous watching <laughs> from the stands. Florent. Gordon's running behind him. He's got a couple running ahead of him. McDonald. He could go for home from outside the arc. <laughs> Bang. The air to the throne. Started to rack him up. Blakey's run, and they just absolutely carved them up here. Spread out wide. Smart decision by McDonald. Open goal square. Jake Waterman with three goals in the second quarter. We'll just roost one from outside 50. It's a career day for Jake Waterman with four goals.